Hi everyone, it's uh, Ryan here with another episode of Blockchain Markets and uh, thank you everyone for um, uh, checking this uh, new episode. That's, um, today is really interesting because I, I'm here with uh, Paul and uh, we're going to discuss about uh, the future of insurance on the blockchain. So um, hi Paul and uh, welcome to the show. Hi Ryan, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Um, for everybody that uh, um, is watching this, uh, this episode, um, and you want to know more about uh, uh, the future of uh, insurance uh, and um, with um, AI uh, as well, uh, I encourage you to stay for the, this interview because uh, Paul is working on, on a very exciting um, project called um, Azure, and uh, he's going to tell us all about that and uh, his take on, on insurance on the, on the blockchain. But before we start, um, Paul, if you can tell us um, a bit of yourself. So and how you got into what's your background and how you got into into blockchain and, and insurance of course i started my technical career when i was student uh, my career started started at microsoft and i worked for some financial um, organizations in germany and uh, after my my studies i talked with two friends of mine about to start startups and we created two startups one was focused on mobile marketing and second was on focused on virtual reality and after our first experience we we bought out a consulting company IT consulting company which had focus on insurance industry and in this company my role was um, um, head of innovation and uh, in my innovation department I worked on many different projects and one of these projects was um, in 2013 we did some 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 research project to investigate um, blockchain technology how it can be used by insurance organizations and um, what kind of use cases exist there um, <clears throat> but um, we saw many possibilities, but um, to this time, 2013, it was a little bit too early to start some, some, some projects in this space. That's why we, we focused us on, on the next big technology. It was artificial intelligence, uh, which we started to investigate in 2016. Um, there I opened one research labs department in, in Kiev um, with focus on artificial intelligence and one year later we came back to insurance industry and blockchain again um, because with, with the help of EVM from Ethereum we saw opportunities that it can be really improve many processes of insurance industry and in this moment we decided okay we need a different um, organization form which which can bring big impact for society and that's why we said okay we need a non-profit organization and that we, we can't use this um, consulting company um, to this time this consulting company was about 120 employees big and um, in my department uh, we decided okay we will leave our careers as consulting um, um, as consultants and let us focus on blockchain technology and insurance to create something really really big for for people and society and then we created Azure. Interesting. Very interesting. So that um and um now Jumping more into um, Azure it, itself, uh, just in a few, uh, just in one sentence, can you tell us what Azure is? Yes, Azure it's it's a platform and protocol which is based on on blockchain technology, and what we what we want to offer it's a open platform where different providers uh, like insurers and reinsurers. Um, can can bring their services together and this service can be connected on top of, of, of this platform and protocol and um, people and 
as people and participants of, of our platform can create different products and solutions um, on top of our platform um, just to use our, our tools and to connect all providers together to, to different solutions. One, one example is um, one friend of mine, he, he, he is a musician and he searched for, 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 for one insurance for his instruments and he, he talked with different insurance organizations but they said, okay, we, we don't have such, such solution. And in this moment, he, he can say, okay, I will design such a product for musician instruments and different people can, can say, okay, I have the same problem and I would participate on this product. And so we can, we can create on top of our platform um, one collective and risk solutions um, where people don't, or not people, where provider don't, don't have to invest really much time because it will work completely um, autonomous for them and people can create own solutions. They have just to, to buy and take risks and in the, in the much more further future, um, we think that um, the community by, by itself can, can act in this, in this, on this platform um, as insurer and train insurer when, when, when it will be much, much uh, more further and regulation will, will agree that, that there are risks in the same way organized like in classical insurance industry. Got it. Interesting. And so then um, it would start as a kind of um, ecosystem with providers and, and users of, uh, and that could also, they could propose uh, a specific um, insurance. Is that correct? Um, in one way, um, you are right. Yes. Um, but our first focus is something different. <laughs> it's, it's also in, in, the, in the space of insurance, but it's in the space of social security systems. Um, our first proof of concept, it's focused on social security si systems, especially pension system, mm -hmm. which is based on, on just German social security system. And um, we try to show how can can, can, can we realize um, a complete social security pension system on top of blockchain, which is completely autonomous and, uh, um, and how we can offer a maybe German pension system to developing countries. And this is our, our proof where we are now focused. And this will show that, that we can um, we can develop different solutions like social security solutions and insurance solutions on top of our platform and protocol that it supports different kinds of solutions. And specifically in the case of, uh, of um, um, pension funds that, that you mentioned, um, I'm interested also in, in knowing like who, how does it work at the moment and how uh, would it work uh, with the uh, Asia and the blockchain, how, how what is the plus of having of moving that model to the the blockchain? And in, in this case, uh, with uh, Azure. Um, so nice question because German pension system don't really need funds. It's a distributing system. It's it's called pay as you go system or pay as you go social security system. Um, People who, who are in, in, in this social security system and who are working, they pay in this in, in one wallet. And people who are, um, who are old and can't work or they have some, 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 some problems to go to work, they are, they are on the different side. And it will be, it's, it's distributed. It's just distributed in the same time. That's why it's, um, it's volatile currencies and all these this problems which you have maybe in insurance or in, in long-term uh, found-based um, social security systems, um, they have different challenges. And in, in this German model, you don't have this, the same challenges. Got it, perfect. So you can basically with, uh, with blockchain, with smart contracts, for example, um, take the funds from uh, one part of the population that is uh, uh, um, 
actively working now it doesn't need the the funds for pension to ones that actually need it without having a, an intermediate yes that's right perfect yeah. well it's really interesting um especially in the case of uh, of um, europe where you see the pyramid uh, now shrinking and then get being like more like like this um especially if you can take out the, the all the institutions that are in the middle uh that uh, or the middlemen that's a great use case yes uh, develop for, for example developing countries have, have advantages over other countries so that they can skip um this this generations of social security system or of development and simply rely on on the largest technology state and that's that's the big big advantage for for developing countries and in germany we can we can just make an improve but this improve it's really big because german pension system they they, they have costs about 3.8 billion of of euros uh, which can be saved when 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 it's based on black on blockchain and it's yeah. a big impact yeah it is so just by switching that you cure that uh, inefficiency of through point almost four billion yes yeah. but that, that's a great use case and um when you talk about uh social security and you mentioned pension funds is it specifically you want to start with the pensions or are you looking also at other other parts in the in the in, in the same category for example um unemployment um uh, and healthcare exactly yes um we did some some research for for developing countries and one of the first things which we saw um it is a really nice way to start with with pension that's why we decided mm -hmm. to start with pension because it will change many things um for example when <clears throat> when old people will, will get pension in these countries um children of them they don't have to pay to pay and to to be care of them um they will have a little bit more money uh, that they can invest in their education and in the education of their children and i think in in 20 years when when such pension system will be there it will make a big impact it's, it's just for from from pension system and then you you when when pension system is established then it 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 can be used um second and third uh, social security system um but we need to to talk with countries and and governments mm. um governments um about about um about different steps because because you you can start from one from one day to second um but it it can it can go really fast when you when you go top down to one country and say okay we need some regulations um to start with such system and in germany we saw how fast it can go because um is germany had had found based insur uh, social security pension system and west germany had had basically go social security pension system and they needed to be to be in the same way and to be right and they needed just one mouth to change and when we when we when we will have um um finished with our technical uh, basis uh, with common um protocol um it will it will be in the same way uh, possible to start such a project um in one mouth well that's a big uh, advantage and uh, and uh, in the case of germany since you want to to where you're from uh, from there you want to start uh, 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 logically, uh, the the project there. How how do you envision the what, what would be the the biggest um, uh, challenges at the moment? Uh, you mentioned that uh, it's you have to deal with the the private private public sector, which is usually a bit uh, slower. Um, but what are the things do you think would be like the 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 main challenges that you would have at, at the beginning with a, with this project? I, I think one of the biggest challenges which which we will we, which we have now and which we will have is to create the the 
big community awareness about our, our, our protocol and our platform, um, I think when, when we will have one of the biggest community awareness, then it will be easy to, to discuss with countries and governments about, about the benefits of our platform and benefits. And that's, that's why we, we need to invest really much money in, in, in marketing and, um, and community uh, growth, um, that this awareness is there. And I think many things are possible. Um, um, like, like, like we see how, how crypto sin impact to the, to the, to, to different aspects in different industries. And, um, we just focused on insurance and social security system and maybe reinsurance. It's, it's a really nice, um, um, use case and industry. Um, and many people, um, don't think that insurance is something, something good, but, in, but insurance is, it's a really great thing because the first social security system, which, which all of us know it's, it's your family because when, when you have something, your family, it's always there. And, um, in the same way, when you have one, one house or something like that, and when it's, it's burnt down, um, then you have one collective, which, which is stay for you. And it's, it's many for one and one for, for, for every, it's, it's really nice ideas there. And many organizations are profit oriented. And this is one challenge with what we want to change too. That's why we, we create one nonprofit organization uh, to create this protocol and platform for communities so that, that all things which, which, which will be there, it's from community for community. And I think this, this, this will change many things. Yeah, that, that, that's an interesting uh, uh, approach. Um, you mentioned uh, that, um, of course, one of the most um, um, important things uh, is to build a community, right? Because it's, uh, when, whenever you're building a new platform, we have this problem of a chicken and egg problem. Where do you start first with the community? You start first with the suppliers, in this case. The, uh, so, um, Maybe this is a good moment to, to start uh, discussing the, uh, the um, uh, ICO, if you're running an ICO and how are you planning to um, allocate the, those funds to, to grow? Yes, um, we are currently focused on our, on our POC to, to show um, the showcase how, how, how things can, can work in our imaginations. And our ICO will, will start late this year. We are not currently in early stage. We, we are focused on these projects uh, since beginning of this year. And um, on, on late this, this year, we will, we will start first pre-ICO and next year will be a uh, public main ICO. And this, this, this is split in two, in basically in two phases. And we, we want to use first, first, um, first phase of, of, of our ICO, it's free ICO, um, to make more on and to invest more in marketing, to create community awareness and, um, to develop our first MVP because proof is just a showcase and first solution will be, um, will be uh, done before public, uh, main side. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I think like, uh, I think we've covered like almost um, everything that I had in, in mind. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else, uh, Paul, that you would like to, to mention or anything that uh, you think it's important that we didn't discuss? I would say to, to, to your audience, um, please um, follow us and um, stay informed um, how we are working and when you have questions you can you can write in on every channel like Twitter or Telegram and our community 
manager and marketing people uh, will answer you when you have any kind of questions. Um, be welcome and feel free to write to us. Perfect. Um, I'll leave a, a link to your to the the website as well in the description of the, in this video. So for you guys that are watching the uh, this interview, just go click the link and then you could go and ask the direct questions uh, to the um, uh, uh, to the the admins in the community, as, as Paul said. Um, well, having said that, uh, I'd like to thank you very much, uh, Paul, for taking the yes. time. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you. And uh, thank you. And um, yeah, I hope that we can uh, we can have a, a second interview in a few months from now when you already went through the the ICO and and the protocol. So it's uh, uh, it's um, uh, up and running, and then we can see if, uh, how everything is going. Of course, it would be great. Perfect. And uh, thank you everyone for uh, watching the, this interview and I'll see you all in the, the next interview. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hi. -bye.